This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Welcome to the Occult Baby Challenge. I first saw Kelsey and Peach K do this challenge on her YouTube channel, and it's based on the Mystical Motherhood Challenge by SimSav. My matriarch, Crystal Ovum, doesn't look like this anymore. She's had seven kids, and her body has changed. So I think it's time to update this intro. Our mermaid baby, Finn, just aged up to a toddler, and he had a little moment of defiance before receiving his first bit of potty training. It's also Halloween in my game, so I had everyone dress up in Halloween costumes. But the costume options for children and toddlers are really lacking, with only two costume options each. With one of the costumes even being Christmas themed, and no costumes for infants. Also, all of the kids love trick-or-treating because they're children, but they can't actually go trick-or-treating. Because trick-or-treaters come to your house when you play, you don't get to play as the trick-or-treaters. Also, Children can't interact with trick-or-treaters, only adults can. So none of these children got to go trick-or-treating despite all of them loving trick-or-treating. So the kids spent the day skill building and Crystal took care of the house per usual. And when the first trick-or-treater came by, I discovered that only adults can interact with trick-or-treaters. So Crystal went outside and played a trick on him. At least one Sim in this household got to do the trick-or-treating activity. And then Crystal went back to bed. To be fair, she's exhausted and I got the kids. It's fine. A little later, another trick-or-treater showed up and we ignored him, but Crystal did get up and she made another painting to sell and also went ahead and fed Magnus. And it was getting pretty late and slowly all of the kids found their way to bed. And after taking care of a few things around the house, Crystal found her way to bed too. But I woke up all the toddlers because I really need them to work on their skills, especially Sabrina and Salem because they are going to be aging up very soon. And after Finn reached level three of the communication, skill, I went in to create a sim to give him his official toddler makeover. This kid is never going to wear another pair of shoes again in his life, except for maybe with his cold weather outfit. He's a merman. He's going to live on the beach like his dad, okay? And of course, he's still wearing his Christmas Halloween costume. Salem and Sabrina are going to be aging up very soon. Not in this video, but in the next one, and their skills are uh, not quite there yet. So I basically sleep to deprive them until they age up so they can keep grinding away at their skills. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? As everyone else is getting their Monday morning started, Crystal starts baking a cake. But this cake isn't for Sabrina and Salem. It's for Red and Luna. They're both now A students in school and can age up to teens, starting with Luna, who unfortunately lost the genetics lottery. And then it was Red's turn, who probably should have actually gone first because he's older, but it's fine. While I give Red and Luna their teenage makeovers, I want to remind you all that I am now on Patreon, and my Patreon members get one day early access to a lot of my videos, like this one. They got to see this video one day earlier than everyone else. They also get access to a private channel on my Discord server, and they get to put one of their sims into my downloadable save file. So if any of that is of interest to you, check me out on Patreon, link in bio. Now, about these makeovers, Makeovers, I did my best, but Luna here, like I said earlier, she lost the genetics lottery. The game actually didn't give her a chin, and so I gave her one instead. I didn't change any of Red's facial structure, but I felt like I didn't really have a choice with Luna. And also, I have Luna learning how to cook because she's probably going to be in this household longer than Red is. Roman was tempted to hide underneath the bleachers during PE class, but he kept running instead. Red and Luna did not go to school today because they just aged up, but they are doing their homework while the toddlers grind away at their skills and Crystal takes care of the baby. And then Luna's father Enrique called saying he was going to come over to help take care of the baby. Uh, Magnus isn't Luna's baby, but sure, whatever. Okay. Of course, Magnus had a blowout, so Crystal gave him a bath while Red cleaned up. All the while, the toddlers were grinding away at their skills. And then Enrique showed up with a suitcase. Wait, this isn't a visit. This is a stay over. I don't want him to do a stay over. I did not know that's what I was agreeing to when I clicked OK. 